How's it going, guys? I wasn't actually expecting to do a video. I just got off the uh, live stream with SkyMill Studios, which was great. It was fun. But uh, I wanted to, uh, now I got to switch gears to Temtem because this just uploaded. Now, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, yesterday I talked about how um, they said something suspect on their Twitter that might have hinted at the Kisiwa update about the uh, final evolutions of the starter. Uh, just check out that video if you haven't. I'll leave a video card and I'll leave the link in the description because it gives you context for this because some people on Reddit were basically telling me I'm crazy. But <laughs> some of the stuff that, that I was... I sort of had an idea with did end up coming together like uh, merging the spring update with the summer update because coming out with just guilds and clubs may not bring people back to the game whereas coming out with with something like this would but uh so they did kind of give us uh, an update so the kisiwa update is coming a little sooner than some of us might have expected just not as soon as maybe i thought with the with the suspect tweet but we did also get a new temtem reveal so y you know there's interesting stuff so I i'm gonna go over the update uh, with you guys here. So hello tamers, it's been a long time since our last update and we want to take advantage of the special day to catch up with the current status of development. Of course we know you're eager to catch a peek at Kisiwa. It's undoubtedly time to share some of the info on all that's happening inside Crema's doors. So happy birthday to us two years ago, bright eyed, a bit scared and hopefully launched the Temtem Kickstarter campaign. The amount of love and support it got blew our mind and still we'll always be grateful to our backers. Um, there's a lot of nice sentiments, uh, that they, uh, that they say here, but I know you guys are here more for the, uh, for the update itself. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna skip that. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well, if you want to read that. But so basically springing into summer, the current global situation has taken a toll on everyone and we're no exception due to the circumstances. Our usual work rhythm has been affected and things were starting to pile up in our queue. We assessed our, pro uh, we assessed our prospects and came to the conclusion that the best choice would be merging the second part of the spring update with the Kisiwa update. That's kind of what I said. Since it was delayed, they're better off just making it one big update. So I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. I'm not crazy. There were also several factors leading us to that decision. The very successful launch has been awesome, but has brought with a few with us a few new challenges and problems we face. Increased workload on the customer support department, more and more testing to ensure everything is properly playable by a wider audience, dealing with tireless hackers. Yeah, hackers ruin everything. We've been constantly growing and hiring new people ever since the release in order to tackle all of these challenges, but the process has been very, very time consuming. Finding the right additions to the team isn't always easy. We're still not quite there and it's now even harder. Under the current circumstances, our recruitment process is almost frozen and the onboarding of our new partners has not been as smooth as we'd like it to be. We've also vastly underestimated the chat feature, which is one of the most important features in Temtem and it needs to be as polished as can be. We also need to work on powerful tools for our moderators to handle the chat reports and infractions, making sure everyone's able to fully enjoy the chat. Next stop, Kisiwa. Disappointing as this might be, there is a silver lining. The Kisiwa patch is going to be amazing and we're working on it at full speed and we're expecting to deliver it around July. So here we go. There's some glances at uh, Kisiwa here. So this is interesting. So we haven't actually seen anything from Kisiwa itself. And for those of you who don't know, Kisiwa is the island that used to be uh, connected to Takuma before the Anak Volcano Cataclysm. How do I know that? Because I do a lot of uh, research that's probably useless. Um, so you got this first picture here. Now, Kisiwa is going to focus on the neutral and the earth type. So the aesthetic we're seeing it being like a desert is uh, very fitting. And perhaps we might get a hint at a desert shrine for uh, Tawai's evolution. But because if you guys watch my Tawai evolution theory, I, I was uh, thinking that maybe there might be a desert shrine. And up here um, in the top right corner, it does look like there's something that could be a shrine of sorts. But again, that's just speculation. Don't take it too seriously. What's interesting though is we do get confirmation of a new Temtem named Curry or Curry. I'm not I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. Watch the little animation here. Yeah, so it's cute. It's the first form of a kinfolk that's part of an un, that's part of the list of uh, unknown kinfolk um, that we've seen. Uh, it used to be on the title screen. Uh, I do have a video plan going over all of those uh, unreleased kinfolk that sort of are planned for the game, but that aren't technically confirmed just yet. So um, stay tuned for that. But yeah, basically that's pretty much it. And here you see another kinfolk that's that's also not named, but um, people just call him like Machamp basically because he's got four arms. But yeah, there's definitely um, there's definitely a lot going on with this whole Kisiwa situation and. Yeah, perhaps I wasn't right about the update being coming really soon because delays and whatnot. But 
I had a feeling something was coming and there you go. Something came. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching this sort of short, uh, casual update video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more Temtem content. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Come join our Discord server. We have a very active community in there. And until next time, peace. Thank you.